everybody needs to know how to make a roast chicken. Even my friend Susan Stroman. <laughs> so I'm gonna show her how to do a really easy roast chicken and it get lots of flavor. That's beautiful. How's that for a chicken? A First thing chicken. I do, actually, is I salt it in advance. Okay. When it comes home from the store, I put, salt it, put it in the fridge, and all that salt gets into the meat, so it gives it lots of flavor. Okay. I'm gonna salt and pepper the inside. You taking good notes? I am, salt and pepper the inside. <laughs> now, what kind of salt do you use? I actually use kosher salt, which I think is a little softer than table salt. Okay. So you know those big boxes you can find in the grocery store? Mm -hmm. Salt and pepper the inside. It's all about getting flavor into it. Right. Okay? So I'm gonna take a head of garlic, a whole head of garlic. Don't peel it, don't do anything. Oh. Just cut the whole thing right in half. And it goes right in the inside. And I think lemon really does a lot for it. So I'm gonna cut it in quarters. I'm just shove that little lemon in there. <laughs> so you tie up its little legs just like that. So that keeps it close to the body. Okay. And then what I do is just tuck the wings under itself. Instead of tying it up so like the chicken's in bondage. It's just so much easier. Just do that. Oh. So one of the key things is. You want to make sure the pan's not too big, because if it's too big, the vegetables in the pan are going to burn. So the first thing I'm going to put in the pan is onions. Okay, carrots into the pan. Four carrots. And the last thing is potatoes. And I love these, the Yukon Gold potatoes. And now my chicken. So it's a five to six pound chicken. It serves three people, probably. Three people. And now, in order for the chicken to brown, really important, you want to dry it. Okay. Paper towel. I'm just gonna go wash my hands and I'll show you in the next part. Okay. Don't have any fun until I get back. I will wait. <laughs> okay, a little butter. I'm just gonna brush the outside of the skin. And what does butter really do? It flavor flavors it, but also the milk solids in the butter actually burn a little bit, so that actually browns the chicken. It looks fantastic. And then drizzle a little bit on the potatoes and the onions and the carrots. Just mix it up a little bit. Lots of salt and pepper on the chicken, and on the vegetables, and that's it. So into the oven, 425 degrees. Okay. For between an hour and 15 and an hour and 30 minutes. Just take the chicken out. Yes. Cover it with aluminum foil, and take the vegetables in the pan and put it right back in the oven for 15 minutes. Let them keep cooking. Great. And that way the juices in the chicken get back into the meat, and it's unbelievable how different it is. Then what happens? <laughs> then we have to carve it. Oh. How's that for a chicken? Oh, Not bad. Needs applause. Yeah. <laughs>